he didn't want to uh, engage. He didn't want to hear what Soulja Boy was talking about because he was scared. You feel me? Everybody know Charleston White be talking spicy, you know. And when you see somebody in real life, he an old man, he disabled, he going to be scared. Now, my take on the situation is, like, if you Soldier Boy, and as a person that's supposed to be in the streets and of the streets and this and that and all that, why, in your right mind, would you engage with somebody that has proclaimed, preached, and spoken that he's going to call the police? That any interaction he gets into it with, with an individual, he is going to call the police. He has said this on countless occasions about countless individuals on countless platforms. That if anything happens to him, if he sees any sign of danger, he is a civilian and he is going to call the police. Now, as a person from the streets, anybody who is going to call the police in any incident that you get into it with, is no reason to be for them. Because you, you know they're going to call the police. So you really ain't even beefing with them. You beefing with the police. If you're going to try to start some shit with them, you might as well start some shit with the goddamn police. You might as well kick on the police station door and say, hey, <laughs> I'm trying to kill somebody. <laughs> if you're going to do that, no cap. Like, you know how many motherfuckers that have allegedly been on like some hard shit or some tough shit or some street shit? In my, in my lifetime that came up to me on that and really wanted some smoke, and then as soon as shit gets to that point of smoke, the first thing they do is tell <laughs> tell an officer, tell an official, or call the police countless times. So from those experiences in my own personal life, not being in a gang, not none of that, I know anybody who is going to call the police there's no point in beefing with them because they are the police. You're a, you're a civilian. You're one step away from calling the police in any incident that you get in danger. So I don't want any smoke with you. You basically are the police. So from my perspective, like, Soldier Boy, being, knowing what he know and being a supposed street nigga, there's no reason why he should have even been beefing with this nigga in the first place. Like, let a nigga say what he going to say and keep it at that. You feel me, though? Because, you know, any nigga that say he going to call the police on you, if you get into it with him, be prepared for the police or some police shit like Mace. <laughs> like Mace Jail, Orange Jail that look like cum coming down your face. No cat.